we have seen a lot of investment in it. Yeah, there's and already now, 15 billion uh, in wind and solar uh, from Warren Buffett. He says there's another 15 billion ready to go. And for a brief overview of what he does have here in the U.S., some natural gas pipelines, as well as electric utilities and wind and solar farms, pretty much all across the country. And he said the unit could actually reinvest about 30 billion into its business in the next decade. That's of course is Berkshire Hathaway's uh, energy. Now there is a split in the community though because big oil like Chevron does not seem to be on board with this. Uh, selling off at least a portion of its clean energy subsidiary has also pulled out of the business to invest in utility size renewables saying, hey, there wasn't any funding available. So kind of a hmm. weird split between the big companies are doing and let's say Warren Buffett is saying. That's really interesting. I wonder where that's happening. Um, you are going to... Money. 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 That's a good, good answer. All the money and the profit. Um, you are going to the Goldman Sachs North American Energy Summit tomorrow. Are renewables going to be a big topic It's going to be a, a huge topic there. First of all, I'm really excited. I get to geek out uh, all day with other uh, energy geeks as well. So first of all, it's going to be about the changes to the CO2 emissions that the EPA uh, proposed uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, Goldman Sachs assumes that about 20 to 25 percent of coal generation will retire due to changes in environmental rules. That's pretty substantial. Only 6 percent were already scheduled to close. And Goldman is also saying that renewables like solar, like wind, will continue to be able to ramp up uh, over the next 11 years as the standards become different uh, state by state. But what's going to be really interesting, Julie, is the differential here between the supply side and demand side. Mm -hmm. So for example, we might have a lot of oil, we might have a lot of energy, but is there the demand for it? So we might have a lot of natural gas, but where are the natural gas refueling stations so you can go buy your natural gas car? So talking about the distinction between the two will be a huge topic there. And who are you going to be talking to? Uh, a lot of people, I'm really <laughs> excited, but uh, one of the highlights, uh, Gary Cohn, president of Goldman Sachs. And that specifically is going to be about the investment in the energy space. So yes, we are producing 8 million barrels of oil a day, but we can't use it all because the East and West Coast can't actually get to it. Hmm. They still have to import about 44 percent uh, of their oil. And Goldman actually estimates that about 21 percent billion dollars could be spent in infrastructure investment over the next five years to solve that problem. A huge amount of money saying it could add about a million jobs and almost 1 percent growth uh, to GDP a year, wow. uh, one percentage point. So so just sort of breaking down how that happens, how we get to those big figures, and who will be some of the investors.